Whether you do a subcutaneous or whether you do deep intramuscular, both aren't that scary. The pain is when you breach the skin. What other needles do we have? We have a 27 gauge, tiny 27 gauge, half of an inch needle. Again, compared to your 23 gauge, one inch needle. Both aren't that scary. This is less scary. This one you can do shallow intramuscular. You can, I've used this in my quads, shoulders, and even dorsal or ventral glute, depending on how much uh, body fat you have. But that's a half of an inch. Uh, and you might even do a subcutaneous injection with this with this size needle. You wouldn't want to do a subcutaneous. That means an area under the, under the skin. But whether you do a subcutaneous or whether you do deep intramuscular, the pain is when you breach the skin. Okay, finally, we've got, uh, again, more insulin syringe needles. This is, again is about a half an inch already attached. This would only be good for possibly uh, HCG injections or if you're going in for testosterone through the rubber bung. Uh, these are quite strong steel and they don't dull as much, but still they may dull a little bit, but it's usually very tolerable and it's, it's not too bad. And then these other ones are 27 gauge, again, all in one needles. This is a half of an inch 27 gauge and these are closer to i believe uh 30 gauge needles or 32 gauge needles yeah these are 30 gauge needles the one ml is 29 gauge needle so you can kind of see the difference so it's there's not much in it that's a 30 gauge needle so in this this longer one is a 29 so this is actually 29 gauges is fatter and 30 gauges a bit thinner but there really isn't much to it so anyway hopefully we got you to over your fear